Okay, so as I mentioned to you, uh, for the first chapter, if you have any question, you just type here. Uh, uh, but maybe chapter one, I don't think you have that many questions because maybe terlalu basic for you to ask question. But anyway, in case you have any question, just put up the question over there. So I'm going to start with chapter one for this logic design, uh, as mentioned in the course content. So this chapter one is mainly introductory concept. So introducing what is a digital, what is analog, it's a very basic introduction. And then what is a binary digit and also logic level, uh, some logic uh, function. So, so these are the three main topic that we're going to cover in chapter one. Uh, I mentioned a bit early, earlier uh, uh, in the first part of the lecture that we have uh, analog data or analog signal. We have a digital data. We have a digital uh, signal. So um, uh, natural uh, things in a natural form, for example, a human voice uh, are analog in nature. Analog ni maksudnya dia the main the main characteristic of analog si uh, signal adalah dia uh, continuous. Uh, so dia ber apa ni? Uh, uh, continuous lah. Uh, so it can handle higher power than digital system. So okay. So you need to be able to differentiate between apa maksud analog signal, apa maksud analog system. So analog signal adalah signal ataupun data. Analog system ni uh, sistem yang memproses uh, analog input and produce analog output. So for example, if you take a temperature, uh, if you measure temperature continuously for for one day, from midnight until 12 noon and the same day, you can get the temperature value uh, continuously uh, because the temperature is like uh, 30, um, 35.3 uh, one second ago uh, and then the same number. So it will uh, plot the data in the continuous form. Kalau kita nak plot the data, we can plot the data in continuous form. Uh, okay, so the difference between analog and digital. So now the digital uh, system, uh, it will process, store and transmit the data uh, by assigning a discrete value. So discrete value maksudnya uh, satu value untuk satu jam. Setiap satu jam tu kita ambil satu value. So katakan pukul uh, tengah malam ni pukul 00.00 pukul 1 pagi, 2 pagi, 3 pagi, 4 pagi, 5 pagi, 6 pagi, 7 pagi. So setiap jam tu kita ambil, kita sample. So maksudnya kita sample walaupun data, data temperature tu sebenarnya asalnya adalah continuous. Dia, dia, dia apa ni, dia continuous lah. Dia sepanjang masa benda tu ada kan tetapi bila kita nak nak proses atau kita nak masuk dia sebagai satu input ke dalam digital system kita mungkin kita tak interested to 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 get the data to store the data setiap saat so kita mungkin nak ambil data tu setiap jam saja so bila kita ambil setiap jam dia ada beberapa advantage lah. Satu, contohnya kalau data tu tak berubah sangat setiap minit tu, kita, kita it's okay for us to sample the data, uh, uh, process the data, store the data or transmit the data for every hour untuk menunjukkan perubahan uh, jam. Sebab kalau kita tengok macam dalam kehidupan kita pun, temperature selalunya Sebab uh, please note that this temperature is in in term of Fahrenheit bukan Celsius kan. Selalunya kalau pagi uh, sejuk lah uh, and then bila tengah hari dia akan naik panas. So kita akan if we want to plot a trend of a temperature, a digital system 
boleh juga uh, sampel ataupun quant, uh, quantization. Sometimes the term people use is quantization. So that they, they ambil data tu satu-satu. Satu unit, satu value untuk setiap jam. So this are the uh, uh, play, the way that digital system can process store uh, the data for each point. So I explained this a little bit uh, earlier. So kita ada sistem yang tadi perbezaan antara analog sistem dan juga uh, digital sistem. Analog sistem continuous, digital sistem dia ambil discrete. Tetapi ada sistem contohnya CD player dia adalah combination between analog and digital system. So CD player uh, dia akan uh, use a digital data from the CD uh, and then convert into analog signal for amplification. So they amplify here then the other digital analog conversion whereby they convert digital data to analog data. So this is the concept of analog and digital system. Okay. Uh, binary uh, digit uh, and logic level. So in digital electronic, so I mentioned to you a little bit about digital electronic. So dalam digital electronic, dalam computer kita, for example, uh, because computer kita dihasil, laptop kita dihasilkan menggunakan konsep of fundamental of digital electronic. So dia akan ada dua, dua uh, state, uh, zero or one. So the low state kita uh, define as uh, zero and high state kita define as one. Selalunya kalau dalam electronics uh, kita ada uh, kita representkan uh, signal uh, in term of voltage level. So kalau dalam electronic kita ada kalau you may have learn about V equal to IR kan. Uh, voltage uh, is equal to current uh, multiplied by uh, the resistance. So dalam dalam uh, digital electronics ataupun dalam digital circuit boards, uh, this two state uh, zero and one is represented by a voltage level. Voltage level. So maksudnya kalau voltage level lima lima volt kita uh, regard as high. Kalau voltage level as uh, zero volt, kita regard as low. So macam dia, dia punya konsep dia uh, macam uh, low dengan high ni macam uh, lima dan kosong, uh, on dan off. So these are the, the the level. So kita cakap high and low. So kita boleh represent this as a logic one this one kita represent as logic zero tetapi in term of circuit dalam circuit tu dia akan terima sama ada 5 volt ataupun 0 volt as as a two uh, to represent two binary numbers lah okay uh, so normally kalau kalau dalam uh, logic design ni kita consider uh, two level lah. So the circuit we detect is either high or is uh, is either low. There's no state in between. So in a binary, a single number is called uh, bit. So bit adalah singkatan untuk binary uh, digit. Okay. So a bit can have a value of 0 or 1 depending on if the voltage is high or the voltage is low. So kalau kita consider voltage is high, dia akan jadi value of 1. Kalau voltage is low or 0, 0 volt akan di represent as 0, uh, zero bit. Okay. So a bit here is bit 1 and bit 0. Uh, voltage high and voltage low. So this is how we represent uh, binary digits and also logic level. So binary digits adalah uh, 0 and 1 here. You see uh, logic level here. It depends on the voltage uh, voltage high or voltage low. Okay. Uh, digital waveform. Uh, okay. So 
So what we are learning in this first chapter here adalah macam mana kita nak representkan uh, kosong dan juga satu. Uh, so satu dan juga kosong dalam uh, binary digit kita dalam electronic circuits tu dia kena produce a waveform uh, that indicate high and also a waveform that indicate uh, the value of voltage adalah rendah of zero so dia selalunya dalam uh, logic design or digital circuits ni uh, kita akan represent a signal in term of pulse pulse So pulse adalah uh, macam denyut or nadi lah pulse ni. So dia ada dua dua condition. So one is what we call positive going pulse. Positive going pulse adalah keadaan di mana state uh, voltage level low and going up to voltage uh, uh, state uh, logic level high and then it go down again. So this is positive going pulse. Kita ada uh, on the rising edge and also falling edge. Edge ni maksudnya yang hujung ni lah. So dia akan rise dekat sini and then it will fall here. So this is what we call the positive going pulse. Okay. Uh, there is also a negative going pulse. So pulse ni can be negative going because Uh, initially the state is high or, or one and then you go to low. So this is negative going pulse. So they are the falling uh, edge and also rising edge here. So digital waveform uh, in the in the electronic circuits uh, is made of series of pulses. So later you will see like pulse boleh jadi bentuk macam ni boleh jadi bentuk macam high, 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 low. So kita akan represent the data in term of uh, bit as a 0, 1. Maybe here is a 0, 0, 1. Maybe we have three, uh, three condition here, 0, 0, 0. Uh, so this is the bit and this is the waveform. Okay. Uh, so the pulse, if you look uh, very, uh, very uh, detailed in the pulse, although ideally kita nampak macam very sharp edge here, tetapi uh, in actual, in the practical implementation, the pulse are not, uh, not, not really ideal sharp macam ni lah. Uh, ini adalah selalu kita kita tunjuk ni dalam ideal condition tetapi bila kita pasang circuit kita tengok dekat digital logic analyzer uh, equipment selalunya kita akan nampak uh, dia taklah sharp sangat macam ni so dia mungkin sengit sikit betul ada overshoot dia and sengit dia ada overshoot that is shown here so what is important here kita measure the pulse in term of path width how big is the pulse looking at the uh, 50% uh, rising uh, time here and 50% of the uh, falling time here so this is de define how big is the pulse so kita tak measure pulse dekat sini sebab dia terlalu kecil so this uh, terlalu besar so this terlalu kecil kat atas ni tetapi kita measure dekat point 50% so this is how it is So the rise time is defined by the time from 10% to 90% and then the fall time uh, from 90% to 10%. Uh, so you have the amplitude is basically uh, how high it is uh, and then there are several other terms like overshoot. Uh, so the naik atas ni, dia terlebih, then they ripple to the common value and then it drop a little bit and then ada overshoot, undershoot a little bit here and then ringing here. So this is the actual pulse looks like. Even though kalau dalam dalam exam ataupun dalam dalam teori yang kita belajar kat kelas, selalunya kita akan draw pulse tu very, very, very 
shoplifting. Right. Okay. So, and then also the concept of uh, periodic pulse with form. So I think you you may have understand what is the mean, the term mean periodic. Periodic ni contohnya kalau macam sine wave tu, dia adalah periodic. Dia berulang dan kita boleh kita boleh calculate what is the the period, the time, and also what is the frequency. Ni dah pernah belajar aku, I think. So period is the in term of the time, frequency uh, normally in term of the uh, measure uh, uh, how many power, how many cycle per second. Okay, so frequency is one over t, and also t is the one over f. So I think you heard this before. Uh, so clock is a basic timing signal uh, so dalam logic design or digital circuit kita ada term clock clock ni digunakan untuk timing signal so you will encounter a lot uh, dalam subjek ni nanti kita akan ada satu macam uh, dia macam kita P kadang dia panggil pulse train eh. So this is a clock. Clock ni kita guna dia untuk timing. Uh, so that will be used. Uh, so you have to accept that clock is a timing signal uh, which is an example of a periodic wave. So dia adalah signal yang periodic. Dia seolah-olah nampak macam sine wave ni kan. So this is a clock punya the uh, waveform. Dia adalah periodic. Okay, so the question here, what is the period of a repetitive wave if the frequency is equal to 3.2 uh, gigahertz? So you can calculate this. So kalau the question asks you, what is the period? So period is basically the T. T is equal to 1 over F. So you use this formula. So you can calculate what is the period given the frequency is 3.2 gigahertz. So, use this formula yang tadi ni. Uh, put the value of the frequency here and then you can get what is the uh, period in term of second. Okay. So, the pulse that you you see in this subject, it will have a frequency it will have a period so they are kind of the value of the frequency we can also define what is the uh, what is the period t and then we can also describe the pulse in terms of the amplitude here what is the amplitude and then how big is the pulse here path width and also what is the duty cycle so the duty cycle is defined by a uh, ratio of tw over t so if you look at this waveform here so amplitude is defined by how tall is the pulse here uh, pulse width is defined by how uh, how big or how is the width of the pulse and then we can also calculate what is the duty cycle for uh, a given uh, pulse. So, kalau contohnya, uh, given this pulse, dia periodic ke tak periodic? Uh, waveform ni. Okay, I think your answer uh, 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 dalam hati uh, is a periodic. And then the period is defined by satu complete cycle. Satu complete cycle sampai sini kan. So, it's one, uh, one cycle and then this is the second cycle and then this is the third cycle. Okay. Alright, so remember our clock. Uh, clock kita dalam uh, dalam electronic circuit ni bukanlah clock yang jam pukul 12, pukul 6, pukul 3, pukul 9 tu kan. So this is not the clock that we are referring to. Clock kita adalah uh, pulse train yang ada certain 
a certain uh, period uh, that we define. So kita boleh define lah clock kita ni nak laju ke, nak slow ke. So clock ni juga di define dalam banyak uh, processor. Kalau macam clock speed dia lebih lebih tinggi, lagi cepat dia proses kan. So this is uh, the function of clock. So kita tunjuk here is a timing diagram uh, to show the relationship between two or more digital waveform. Katakan kita ada digital waveform A, uh, B and C. Uh, okay. uh, kita boleh tengok uh, different inputs of the signal here dekat uh, logic analyzer. So logic analyzer ni dia akan boleh display lah uh, yang clock kita tu dekat sini and also input A, input B, input C kita macam mana. So this is for example just to show you a different uh, different uh, waveform representing clock and also three digital inputs. Okay, another concept that we need to learn to establish now is concept of serial and parallel data. So um, the data can either be transmitted in serial mode or in parallel mode. So serial ni maksudnya kita ada satu line dan the data is being sent one after another. So they can send this uh, sequence of number one zero one one zero zero one zero one at a time. Uh, so that is example of serial. So serial. So this is example of parallel. The data can be sent uh, together at one at one time. So this one kita boleh kata at one clock cycle. At one clock cycle kat sini kita dah uh, habis transmit all the data. So this is for example the typical application for parallel um, parallel data uh, transmission is between a computer and also printer. So computer and printer normally uh, is connected by using a dedicated cable or nowadays normally most of it is using uh, USB cable and the data is being sent as uh, in parallel. So they can, the advantage is that they can jadi sangat cepat. Uh, example of the serial transmission, kita ada from computer to modem. Modem ni is, uh, sekarang ni most of the computer uh, send the data through Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi is a form of modem but uh, the modem that is referred here is a fixed modem uh, yang digunakan previously. The data is being sent in, in serial. Okay, so maybe just one last slide for, for us to, to go through today. So basic logic function. So uh, we mentioned a bit earlier. So there's a end gate, there's OR gate and also there's a inverter or NOT gate. So end gate ni is true uh, if all the inputs are true. So dia kalau semua satu, 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 then the output will be one lah. So true here means one. Uh, or gate ni dia true kalau sekiranya any one of the input is true. So contohnya dia kosong, 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 satu. So and then the output will be one. Uh, not gate ni kalau dia ada uh, kosong kat sini and then it will be one out. Yeah, and then kalau one kat sini jadi kosong. So there are two way to represent this. Sometimes dia letak uh, dot bubble kat depan. Sometimes dia letak dot bubble kat belakang. Okay, so that is the log basic logic function. And then uh, we can uh, let's see. I think I, yeah, I think I would like to stop here uh, and then uh, maybe uh, next week uh, we will continue uh, from this slide uh, onwards, okay. So I think it's a one hour 45 minutes or so. So I'll, I'll stop here now for today. Uh, ada apa-apa soalan ke?
for today.